What is this AI geolocating camera? Can someone explain this? Yes. What is this? Okay. Um, a lot of people were tweeting this saying this it. is this like a lot of people are tweeting this saying this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. But David's been waiting all week to talk about it. Yeah, I think I sent it to you. You did. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You tagged me in Slack. You were much more enthusiastic about it than I expected. It, okay. It's not a product that <laughs> anyone would ever use. It's a it's basically a toy. Yeah. So the idea is it looks like a camera. You carry it around with you and it has a GPS in it. Well, it's right? also when we say looks like a camera. So like camera body, yeah. But then rather than a lens, it's like a it's, like I think hand. that's an antenna. Yeah, I think yeah. it's multiple antennas, similar to like a Vive controller, where they yeah. use that for like position tracking. Mm -hmm. So yeah, sorry, I want it like, but it's I pink see. and it's like coming out of the front of a camera. It looks insane. Yeah. So it has it has basically a thing on the back that is effectively Mad Libs, right? Uh, Do you know Mad Libs? Yeah, you just fill in. You fill in blanks. Adjective, so it says verb noun. I'm at this geolocation. The weather is this. And there is like some grass beyond me or something like that. And then a basically there's a screen on the back that has a prompt for an AI image generator. And because it has all of this information from like Google Maps and like all of this like image data for what that place generally looks like. And then also you're explaining the conditions of what the place is now. Well, I think it's using GPS and the internet to understand the, the weather conditions oh. as well. Like I think that's part of. So what are you putting in? I think you just your, hit the shutter button. So I think because you said this is basically linked to a website, correct? That's like a prompt. You can, and it would yeah, create... you can go on this guy. So his website is currently down because too many people oh, okay. are, are looking at it. Um, but you just put in a little bit of information, like the Mad Libs information. Like you say, it's midday. I'm here. It's partly cloudy. What are the so noms? I, so do? I think what this actually is is because of the GPS and the things is when you click that shutter button, it's auto filling in the oh. ad libs because it can tell through the antennas like, yeah, I am in this coordinate. I'm facing this way. It is this time. Oh, this I is see. what the weather for this area okay. is. Okay. And, and so then the knobs basically just change like how far away from it. Yeah, you it says are. meters. I don't know what seed, seed means. Seed is like. Um, like when you're clicking it, it's generating images, but seed one would be like the first batch that it generated. Okay. Wait. Seed two would be a separate batch. Oh, I thought seed was the seed they use for the noise um, that when they diffuse the information through it. I don't think so. Because no? only okay. one seed would be like really noisy. No, no, like, like you know how you, you have different seeds to create different noises? Yeah. Like, you use that seed to create the, the initial noise map that you then diffuse mm. through. That may be true. Regardless. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, sorry. It, sorry. No, it's okay. It's, a, it's like a camera that looks like it has a crab strap to the front. And it, that's actually very accurate. <laughs> it's making all of these images, and there's examples on Twitter. We'll link this in the show notes. Um, the images that it generates are much prettier than the actual places that this guy is taking photos oh of. Oh my God. Uh, everyone on the internet is like, this is so stupid. What is society becoming? And it's like, guys, nobody is taking this seriously. Yeah. It's an experimental fun thing. For sure. Like just let it, let it be fun. Guys. I see this way more as like, this is using generative AI, like creating photos, but like he created this cool thing to basically auto plug in the prompt of it yeah. to be like yeah. in an area. And then, that's so oh, funny. it's kind of like I have a camera. So, but it is cool because you it automatically plugs the prompt in. You take the picture and then it generates on this like weird little three D camera thing he printed. Mm -hmm. And like he looks at it and looks at the thing in front of him, and it's, it's right. Some of them are close. Yeah. Some of them are decently close. Yeah, yeah, it's usually just like a much prettier version of the thing he's currently standing. In yeah, because exactly. <laughs> it doesn't have like a million people. And yeah. like everything's like looks nice and. But looks isn't that what already. you want a, a camera for? Again, I. <laughs> Yeah, but it's this not is trying fun. to be this an actual camera. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like a it's just a yeah. What can we do with our the current technology that just got invented a year ago? It's just hilarious to put it in the body of a camera with a shutter button. I think it's amazing. I was yeah. just gonna say so that. I think if it didn't have like the camera body around it, yeah. it would be a cool thing. I, but because yeah. it's a camera, everyone's freaking out. I think that's what makes it fun. Dumb. Like he I, tried something different. I'm now. with you guys. I think we're so used to engineers and technologists inventing a thing and then being like, I'm going to shove this down everyone's throats <laughs> yeah. until everyone's using it. That now it's like when someone invents something, we're like, Get that away from my throat! You know, it's literally. But a, it's like it's, it's a, a toy. toy. It's a little fun it's a toy. toy. It's like yeah. an art. It's almost like an art. Ex like a yeah. 
like an art exhibit. Yeah, yeah like exactly. a modern art. Yeah, like really... I could see this in the MoMA just being like permanently strapped to the wall, and then there's like a display in front of it that displays different places, and then it shows the thing, and then it just yeah. generates. And, and in that art, like the yeah. AI is part of it. Like it's not replacing normal photography and no. stuff like this. Yeah. Like this entire thing is a project within itself, and therefore, like, yeah, it's, it's it's fun. It's like a benevolent Michael Reeves video. Kind of, yeah. No, yeah. If you made a video on like making this, it would blow up on the. It would be really cool. for yeah, sure. They should. Yeah, I really want to. I would love to get one of these. And it, um, by the time you listen to this, hopefully the guy's website will be back up. It got hugged to death, and it's been down for uh, oh. over a day. I just retweeted it, so it's probably it's <laughs> it's already, I mean, it's, it's down for sure. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, but the cool thing is on his website, you you don't actually need the device. You can put in the parameters yourself, and it'll generate images for you. That's great. So you can kind of play with it. Uh, hopefully that's back up to Bjorn Carmen. I'm sorry that everything is falling apart for you right now, but Bjorn, can I have one? Your invention is very cool. Bjorn. I would, I would love one if you listen to this podcast. Bjorn, listen to me. <laughs> listen to me. We'll make a studio. I'll give you the, the studio's GPS coordinates and then you just put one in the mail <laughs> and we'll make a video about it. Yeah. So anyway, it's, everything that's auto filling in, I think can be figured out just by the positioning of the camera when the shutter yeah. buttons hit. Yeah. So I, yeah, that's really cool. I think the reason there's discourse around it is because there's a lot of really disruptive discourse around AI imaging and AI art right now. And everyone's using, used to being angry. And also and somebody is making something around it that is doing the same thing, but with the intention of not I, being serious and people don't really know how to react to that. As I'm scrolling through, just his tweet says, thank you all for the amazing feedback. There are a lot of questions. So I'll clarify. This is a passion art project. No intention of making a product or challenging photography. Rather, a question of the role of AI in time of creative tension. Nobody assumes yeah. that this that people yeah, are going to yeah. like take photos with this and pass it off as their real I'm, art. But like, that's, like what the, that's what like people are probably getting yeah, upset about. There are about. probably some people that will say that. I bet it's the same disagree. people that say they're awesome. making a photograph. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. God. What is other half of this is like? Remember, we just had I O, and it's like you took a photo, and then it's yeah. like, ah, oh, this photo is nice, but how about if it was a different photo? Yeah, and the sky was brighter, and the bag was gone, and she was two meters over, so she had the waterfall in her hands. You're yeah, kind it's of not naked. really <laughs> wouldn't really make that photo. If this gets we'll pushed into it, yeah. like the Google camera app, then we start worrying. Yeah, yeah then but yeah, I, right Google now, could easily but, make this experiment. They could. <laughs> But way too easily you yeah. go somewhere your camera's broken and your phone's just kind of like yeah but i know what the niagara falls waterfall looks like <laughs> and you just kind of give them a photo of the waterfall right and that's it it's a fun art project um i just thought it was cute it was fun. really cool and i uh, thank really you cool. for showing that to me because it's yeah. very cool thanks for watching this clip my name is marquez brownlee um why is the background white no one will ever know you should like this clip and yeah oh there's a microphone <laughs> what are you guys doing <laughs> Nice. Uh, album cover. Like and subscribe. Hit this.